Uh, in this video, we're going to look at the method of synthetic division. Um, so this method is a, a shortened version of uh, the method of long division. Um, so in synthetic division, we're going to be dividing p of x by x minus r, uh, where r is a constant. Uh, and uh, to do this, we're just going to use uh, the number r and uh, just the coefficients of the polynomial. Um, so to find the number r here, typically we're going to uh, set x minus r to 0 and then solve for x. And then whatever number we find this side, that is going to be our r. So the advantage of uh, synthetic division is uh, that it is shorter than long division. Um, but uh, it's got uh, a one disadvantage. It's only applicable if the divisor is linear. So that must be x there. So get x squared minus r, then this method is not going to be applicable. So just like in the method of long division, we still need to ar arrange the dividend in descending powers of x. And we need to make sure that all the powers are represented. So here are some examples that we're going to have. We're going to do. Um, most of these examples are similar to the examples we did in our videos on the method of long division. So you can actually confirm um, um, from that video that we are getting the same answers. So, okay, let's uh, get started on with uh, the first one. So, in A, we have got uh, x cubed minus 2x squared plus 4x plus 7, all divided by x plus 2. So, the first thing we're going to do is uh, to obtain r, we're going to set this equal to 0 and solve for x. So that means our r is going to be negative 2. <laughs> then we are going to arrange the coefficients of the dividend in descending order. So for x cubed, the coefficient is 1. For x squared, the coefficient is negative 2. For x, the coefficient is 4. And for x to the power 0 or the constant coefficient is 7. Then what we're going to do is we are going to drop the first uh, coefficient here down to this last line. We always do that. Then we multiply that coefficient by our r. And the number we get we write under the second um, coefficient and then we add this time we add so that is going to give us negative 4 and then we multiply negative 4 by negative 2 write the answer there so that's going to be 8 and uh, it's uh, going to give us 12 when we add multiplying again is going to give us negative 24 here and adding is going to give us 17. Now, the last um, number in the last column is always equal to the remainder. So this one is our remainder there. Then these are the coefficients of the, um, the quotient. Now, remember our... Um, the degree of our dividend is 3. The degree of our divisor is 1. So the degree of our quotient is going to be 2. So the leading order term here is going to be 1 times x squared, then negative 4 times x and then plus 12 and so that is going to be our remainder and quotient then in part b 
um, we have two three x squared minus x plus x to the power of four minus nine so three x squared minus x plus four so three x squared minus x plus x to the power of four um and then the last term is minus nine um this is divided by x minus one so first thing i want to do um, again here is uh, to arrange the numerator in um, descending powers of x so this is fourth degree polynomial and then x to the power three is not here so we uh, put a placeholder then x squared is here x is here and 9 is there okay then to find r we set x minus 1 to 0 and solve so r is 1 we're going to write 1 here and then the um, coefficients of uh, our dividend will be 1 0 3 negative 1 and negative 9 we drop down the 1 we multiply by 1 we add we multiply by 1 we add we multiply by 1 it's going to be 3 multiplied by 1 so that's going to be negative 6 again the last one is always the remainder so this is our remainder here and then the first one is the coefficient of the leading order term for the quotient this time we have got uh, um, degree 4 minus 1 so our quotient is degree 3 so it's 1 times x cubed plus 1 times x squared plus 4 times x plus 3 so that is going to be um, our quotient next we have got um, c but notice that in c the denominator is not linear so that means in c the synthetic division method is not applicable so method uh, not applicable okay we cannot use synthetic division for that one so we'll go on to so that was c d um so in d let's see what we've got we've got 2x squared minus 5x cubed plus 2x to the power of 4 2x squared minus 5x cubed plus 2x to the power 4 uh, all divided minus 8 all divided by 2x plus 1 so minus 8 here divided by 2x plus 1 okay there are two issues we need to sort out here first one is arranging the numerator in descending powers of x 4 is the highest power followed by 3 then 2 after which 1 is missing and then the last one is minus 8 okay and then the next issue is that um in our framework here the x in the divisor has got a coefficient of unity but here the x is got a coefficient of two so these two here is giving us a bit of a bother 
way we are going to uh, sort this out, we're going to factor out the 2. So then we're going to write this as 2x to the power 4 minus 5x cubed 2x squared 0x minus 8. Then this is now going to be x plus 1 half. Okay. Perform the division, then we're going to multiply through by the one half, just so that we still have exactly the same thing. So to obtain our R, we set this to be equal to zero. We find that R is negative one half. So if we write negative one half here, then the coefficients are going to be two negative five. 2, 0, negative 8. Okay. Um, so, if we drop down the 2, multiply by negative half, and add, so that's going to be negative 6 here, yeah. multiply by negative half, and add, multiply by negative half, and uh, add multiply by negative half now going to be 5 over 4 when you add these two we're going to get negative 27 over 4 we are not going to rush into concluding that this is the remainder yet because remember, we still have this one half outside. So, what this thing is telling us is that we are going to have one half into uh, the quotient we have inside the bracket. It's going to be 2x to the power 3. So, remember, the dividend is power 4. The divisor is power 1. So that's going to be the case. Minus 6x squared plus 5x minus 5 over 2. Then this is going to be minus 27 over 4. All divided by x plus half. Okay, so that's what's happening inside the square brackets. Then multiplying through by the 1 half. It's going to give us x cubed minus 3x plus 5 halves of x minus 5 over 4 and then um, this is going to be minus 27 over 4 divided by 2x plus 1 so that means our remainder so our remainder is minus 27 over 4 and uh, this is our quotient all right okay so now um we're going to give you a moment to have a go at um, um e and uh, f i'm gonna go have a go at e and f uh, if you pause the video uh, work through these then when you continue the video you can compare with uh, our solutions all right, uh, we're now going to scroll down to our solutions for the examples E and F. So um, we hope these uh, videos are useful. Please do not forget to subscribe uh, to support our channel. Uh, and uh, if you have got any comments uh, or questions uh, on the material we do, uh, just post it in the comment section. I uh, would be happy to hear from you uh, and uh, please do like the video and share accordingly. Right, so for E, um, if we write this, um, the D, uh, dividend in our um, descending powers of X is going to look like this. Then um, if we take the denominator and equate it to zero, and solve we find that uh, x is 2 so that's going to be our r uh, these are our coefficients so if you just drop the first one multiply by 2 
in add here we get negative 1 multiplied by 2 and add multiplied by 2 and add so find that the remainder is 1 and that is going to be our quotient because um, the degree of the quotient is going to be 2 minus 1 then for f um, so this is the dividend in descending powers of x but uh, x to the power 2 is missing so put a placeholder here then the other thing the x has got a coefficient of 2 in the denominator so we're going to factor that out and then if you take this and equate it to 0 and solve so we've got x minus half is 0 so x is 1 half so that's what we're going to have there then we drop the 2 and multiply by half we get 1 we add we get negative 4 we multiply by half we get negative 2 we add we multiply by one half we add multiply by one half we add and then remember there is a one half outside the square brackets so from this this is what we have multiplying by the one half this becomes x cubed minus 2x squared minus x plus 2 this becomes minus 7 over 2x minus 1 so that means negative 7 is our remainder now and of course this is our quotient all right thank you